Send it, Tash. Hi, I'm Tash Tendo, a rally driver in Kenya. I come from a rallying family, do rally cross and classic rallies and rallying, normal rallying. Hi, uh, Hamza Anwar, a three time and current junior champion in Africa, and a lot, a lot more titles you can all set that up, but yeah. What's it like to handle? It's a little wobbly, to be honest. Yeah. It's quite bumpy, isn't it? Yeah, I see what you mean about the swaying. Yep. Not and all steady. that body roll after you get all these accessories on. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do a long trip, would you? No, absolutely not. But then rovers are already that comfortable. Yeah, so I want to see if these new suspensions make a difference. It would be amazing if they did. Hey, good morning. Right, we're going to do a quick unboxing video of Nimbus Oleo Pneumatic Suspension. So, Oleo Pneumatic Suspension is the same that is used in aircraft landing gear, and Nimbus in France have designed this solution of shock absorber for vehicles. So, this is a set for a Land Rover Defender 110, and the set is designed fully bespoke. So rather than suspension that you normally buy, which is for a Land Rover 110 or a Toyota Land Cruiser, this is designed for this specific truck. So it knows where all the weight is, it knows the different heights, it knows all of the equipment on there, and the team in France have designed this specifically for this vehicle. Let's take a quick look. So, first thing you'll notice, there's no gimmicky marketing big shiny boxes. This is plain and simple. So, we know where they're spending their time and energy. It's on designing the product. Each one, if you look, is designed for each one. So, each wheel has a specific setup based on the weight in the car and what's going to go. All right. So, in there. Here we have it. Now the first thing you notice about this, wow it's light. This thing is light compared to other things. So it's because it's made pure aerospace grade aluminium top to bottom. The factory is in Toulouse in France near Airbus. Need we say more? Um, the second thing is it's really simple. So when you get into high-end suspensions, there's a lot of complexity, external reservoirs, lots of things that in Africa, overlanding, can go wrong. Nimbus designed these to be super, super simple. All of the technology is inside. It combines nitrogen and oil inside the suspension and it takes care of everything else. The third thing, these are pretty. Now I know it's a bit nerdy, but they're really, really pretty almost don't want to go and get them dirty or fit them into the car. You could put these in your living room. Nice little custom orange touch from the factory. Thank you very much. Matching the orange on the car. Fully bespoke solution. The factory works hand in hand with each client and designed specifically for their car. And you can take it as far or as unfar as you want to go. Let's go get them fitted. Riding over everything. See over this little this, Yeah, this yeah. yeah. It's quite nice. Isn't it? Wow, it's in a straight line as well. Yeah. Didn't feel any body roller whatsoever. It's much 
more, I feel much safer. Yeah, honestly, so do I. Because yeah. before on the yeah. standard suspension, it was just all over the place. Yeah. And right now it's become a proper car. It handles. Yeah. That's a Land Rover we're talking about. Yes. I'm testing this beautiful car out. And honestly, I'm really uh, impressed with the suspension. I've never sat in a Land Rover that handles. Yes. I, I agree with you. It was uh, this morning. It was really hard. It was um, bottoming out, wasn't it? And uh, this afternoon, smooth. Completely different car. Uh, a lot safer. I felt a lot safer. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think for you, you'd look into safety. I was impressed yeah. by the performance. <laughs> but yeah, on a safety, uh, on a note of safety, I think it was fantastic. It was yeah. so stable, and it sat on the road well. Yeah. It was. This is a stock Defender until today, so it's got standard springs, standard shocks. Uh, and quite a bit of weight carrying around and it was a classic stock defender which was incredibly bumpy and jittery on all of the corrugation so it's the really small bumps that you notice the most um, and feels quite scary most of the time now we're what 10 minutes into driving since it left the uh, since it left the workshop so uh, yeah more to get bedded in but the smoothness on the corrugation was the biggest noticing difference. Um, I think the other one was how fast you were going compared to how fast this morning. And then the bigger potholes and corrugations, which is African roads all over, um, it took a lot more in its stride, which I think then made you realize how fast you were going. Uh, my experience has been great since morning when it was still stock, I had a test for the car. And uh, honestly speaking, it was a bit stiffy for me and we have been treating the, sorry to say this, but uncomfortable ride, Bambi ride. But at least now I can flat off. It's only that it can't allow me to flat out on this car, but at least at the moment, I'm much comfortable with it. Safe, small, on the aggregation and everything I can, I can tell I can attest. It's good for African roads at the moment. The guys at W Automotive, the uh, Ineos dealers for Kenya, uh, they were great. I mean, we put a team on it. Um, it was quick. Uh, I mean, part of the benefit of Nimbus is it's designed for simplicity as well as for performance. So you're not setting up loads of crazy mm. settings. You literally take out the other shock, take out the springs, replace back in. I mean, the rear set were done in an hour and 15 minutes, something like that. And then the front ones, as anybody knows with a Defender, is a little bit more fun and games as you have to take half the engine out. Uh, even that way through when we were done in half day, which uh, is about the same as tr changing traditional shocks and springs on most cars. So yeah, really, really smooth and then straight out and it'll have a bit of bedding in over the next 30, 40 kilometers, but then it's in and it's good to go. The main challenge that we have is getting an off-road car with this comfortability on the shocks. We can get the most uh, sustainable uh, shocks on other cars, but now we are looking at an aspect whereby we get a kind of an off-road car. We love off-roading, that's our life. And uh, we need that comfortability that we experience on the highways back to where we experience on the doing well, doing off-roading, camping, uh, game drives, and I can prefer. These are the best for off-roading.